Welcome back, and coming up today, we're heading up to Pai. I've been coming here for over a decade now. I love it. It's one of the most popular places for a good reason. It's beautiful, it's idyllic, and the people and the atmosphere is one of a kind. But now that COVID's long behind us and Thailand's been fully open for quite some time, how is it doing right now? What's it like? So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's pick things up just outside of Pai on our way. Morning. <laughs> Welcome back. It's so good to be back in Northern Thailand. If you saw the last video, we were camping, or glamping I should say, right underneath this mountain. This is Shangdao, the third highest mountain in Thailand and the most beautiful. Unfortunately right now, after the morning breakfast here, I've just had it pronto coffee. It's now gone into the clouds, but that's okay. It's still gorgeous. It's a beautiful day. Today we're going to be shooting for Pai. It's about a three hour drive. We've got 700 turns or something to do. So it'll be really good testing Zelda's cornering. So yeah, come with us, another slice of Northern Thailand. We're getting to know Zelda a little bit more today. We'll see what she can do on that road. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> issue with my front brake. Listen carefully. Ready? I'll come into this corner. <laughs> that's not normal and that's not good. Foot brake's fine. There's the foot brake. But my front brake is making that god-awful sound. brakes have worn out if something's wrong I'm not sure so we'll be for sure taking that to the garage I should be okay on my back brake and I'll just use use the engine to brake in first and second gear when I'm coming down the hill into pie but this is not ideal I don't like that sound so yeah Otherwise, you know, she's fine. She's dealing with these hills and she's she's dealing with these turns. No problem. 
and I'm getting thumbs up from bikers that are riding past, which is nice. But I've never heard such a god awful sound from coming from a front brake before, so let's hope that goes away. Raining. Let's see how these tires do in the wet. Yeah, luckily, as we were heading up the mountains and it started to sprinkle, there was this little roadside place and I pulled over alongside some much bigger bikes and some real bikers. <laughs> and um, however quickly I decided just to get on the road, it wasn't raining that badly. And so me and Zelda got back on the slippy roads and we started making our progress towards Pi a little bit slower than normal. But then I think I just went around one corner and boom, it was raining cats and dogs. And uh, yeah, you've got the risk of aquaplaning and maybe having an accident. So if you do get caught in the rain, go slow and steady. There's no rush. And if you're getting soaked, just embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cold, I'm so cold. I do have waterproof trousers, but the rain just appeared out of nowhere. And by the time there was a place to pull over, this random shack, I was already completely soaked, so there's no point worrying about it too much. <laughs> um, the only thing that I'm really worried about, to be honest, is the fact that my little Converse bag, which I'm using as my little day trip to pie bag, has my MacBook in, and I don't think that bag's very waterproof. So I'm just praying that I'm gonna See if I can put it inside my back box. Let's just get down to Pi slowly and safely. No rush today. Not gonna lie, the last hour down towards Pi was a bit miserable. Very cold up on the top of the mountain and when you're soaked, yeah, it's pretty miserable actually. But uh, we made good progress and eventually when we got down into the valley of Pi, the rain subsided and just outside of Pai town itself is a beautiful little sunset spot and it's called Two Huts. And so, um, yeah, I decided to pull up there, kind of rejuvenate, recharge and warm back up with the last of the afternoon rays. This is a lovely little afternoon sunset spot. We'll come here later in the video again, but like I said, I just wanted somewhere to pull over and rest and warm up. What we'll do is we'll pick up things tomorrow, the next day, because I'm going to be taking you to a place that, unbelievably, I've never been to before. And it's one of the most popular places in the whole of Pi.
Hai is one of those places that I've been coming to for over 12 years, since 2008. Hello, hello the cab. And I have never been to the Bamboo Bridge. <laughs> it's like saying you never went to the Empire State Building, but you've been visiting New York for over 10 years. I don't know why I've never come here. I've always just thought it was, um, I don't know, too touristy. But this bridge has a practical use. It's made of bamboo, as the name suggests. It's in the most beautiful village, and it connects one side of the village, where most of the people seem to live in this settlement behind us. And then it crosses over these flooded bamboo fields, over towards the other side of the village, where there's a beautiful little temple. So, you know, if you're a farmer, this is your land, but you want to get over to your nan's house, and she lives on this side of the village, well, you've got to use the bamboo bridge. And in the middle, we'll go check it out, there's a Burmese-style temple there. So we'll go take a look, and of course it's surrounded 360 with beautiful views. I can't believe I've never come here before. So the name of this village is Pambok. There's also Pambok Waterfall, which I'll show you in a minute. And then this is Pambok Bamboo Bridge. So just Google map Pambok. It's about 15, 20 minute drive away from downtown Pai. So it seems like the Burmese temple isn't so much a temple, just more a shaded area. A little bit of a building site at the moment. Maybe they're gonna develop into a temple. Although to be fair, I think they do a lot of rice blessings, you know, like just before and after the rice harvest, they do a lot of religious ceremonies in Thailand. In fact, when I was a teacher, we used to get a full day off school because of the rice blessing day. And they need sheltered areas to perform these blessings and the monks would come in. So I would imagine, I would imagine that that's sort of the centerpiece for the rice blessing ceremonies in this part of the province. Beautiful. Part of this video is to show you how Pai has changed since last time we were here. And last time we were here, it was a ghost town, bless it. And as you'll see tonight, down in the old town in the, in the Walking Street area, lots of things have closed, but lots of new exciting things have opened. So it's not all doom and gloom. Pai is very much happening and very much alive, which is great to see. But a couple of sad things to update you on. Uh, the first was the waterfall, Pambok waterfall. That has always been a free, place to go park up cool off and uh, a free waterfall but now they've built a little ranger station and it's 200 baht for a foreigner to go in and here's some footage of me ties 
in series one of the budgeteers i think this is like 10 years old this footage nearly and as you can see it's a nice waterfall but it, it's not worth 200 baht so we're not going to go to that waterfall so that's a shame and the second thing is have you ever been here this is the land crack this was a spot um, that was run by a local farmer an earthquake destroyed his farm and he decided to turn it into a little bit of a stop where you could come and have handmade roselle juice roselle wine sweet potato snacks fried bananas and it was a donation only and you could come and stroke his big chicken <laughs> and have a walk around the farm and it was super interesting but now it's no more and i've just asked um, a local here and uh, he's fine his family still live here on the land happily they just they're scared of covid bless them so they've completely shut and bolted the gate closed so the land crack may open again when they relax a little bit but that's a sh that's a shame because this was a spot to hang out um, but on the positive opposite the the land crack car park is pie zip line so as some things have become expensive instead of free and as some things have closed lots of things have started to open up and fresh routes are starting to emerge through the covid aftermath including the, the zip line which we might give a, a go but not today not today can't be bothered today so in keeping with um, checking out what's new in Pai, earlier in the video we went to the Two Huts sunset spot, which has always been my favorite place for the last two years to enjoy sunset. But I couldn't actually get over yesterday how many people were there. And it was nice to have that atmosphere. But there's a new place just before Two Huts and I've seen that they have a lot of posters around the town advertising that, you know, to go check it out and to enjoy sunset there. I'm not quite sure the name, but it's just before two huts. So why don't we go check out what that's like? So here's the turning. Just another five minutes, well, not even five minutes, two minutes that way is two huts. This place is called Ten Rye. Well, let's have a cold beer here and see how we feel. Some friendly dogs. There's always friendly dogs in pie. So a dee Oh, so a dee. Oh. Okay, let me just get out of the way of the thingy. Hello, sorry cow. I know you. You are too YouTuber. Chai. Chai. Hello, you know your con Instagram iPhone. Paddy Doily. Chai, Paddy Doily. <laughs> is this your place yeah oh okay yeah i saw the sign the poster oh. in the banh mi restaurant banh mi. Oh, okay. and i was like oh a new a new place <laughs> well, let's have a little look around i can see three fire pits looks like they're still working on it you know they're, they're painting some metal work here and Looks like they probably live in that building and uh, here's the bar over there. And the views are just as good, obviously. I mean, two huts is just on the other side of this cornfield. Cannabis cookies and gummies. Oh, thank you. Come on, cap. What's your name? Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> this looks like a stage with lighting and sound equipment, but it's all covered up now. So yes, yeah, Saturday nights, this will be the party. So Saturday nights, you want to be coming here if you want to get a little bit of pie atmosphere. Thank you for the beer. I'm going to put it in the special place. <laughs> wow. All right. Thank you. She's called Zelda. Zelda. Do you know the computer game? You don't know computer game Zelda? Oh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, they're such a lovely couple from Chiang Mai province. But yeah, they're, at the minute they're only doing big parties on Saturdays. They're not pushing anything else at the minute. And since we're right next door to Two Huts, I'll just show you the difference. You know, from, from being what the only person there and a few dogs well to compare to well you'll see and 
here we are. This place has done so well for itself, it's unbelievable. There's now a swimming pool, a dedicated parking spot. Like, I mean, half of this is now just a car parking space. They've got a fire pit out the front and just loads of places to sit. I mean, there used to be two or three people here on a sunset. And now this is the jam. Before we go inside, it'd be rude not to. Cheers. 50 baht. Wow. Can we just take a minute to appreciate Zelda in this light? She's stealing the show. I can't tell you how proud I feel to, to own a bike like that. Oh God, I love her so much. And they're the two huts that this place was named after. But good luck trying to get a seat in the hammock there now. Unless you get here at four o'clock or something. This is probably another reason why they're super popular. Remember, Pai was so famous for coming, for people to come here and have a spliff. You know, it was always quite weed friendly. Back when it was illegal, now it's legal. Yeah. And now you can just buy it in a jar. Nice. Brilliant. <laughs> I was wondering if it's you. Yeah, it's, it's I, I, I watched the videos of you on YouTube. You yeah. Were travel, you're traveling. And yeah, on my motorbike. Yeah. But actually, that's a new one, so you so, might. I, we're wondering if you, if to go to Kochang. We have a problem. Yeah. We want that was a very typical example of when I bump into subscribers. They're like drilling me. Like, what island should I go to? What's the weather going to be like? And I'm like, guys, I'm not a weatherman. It might rain when you go. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the contrast between two huts and the other place. Look at this now, like actual seating areas. Upstairs, downstairs, busy. Two huts rammed. Beautiful. Well, let's have a beer and enjoy the last, what, 15 minutes before that sun hits the top of that mountain. That was a magnificent sunset and I've come back to Walking Street for this penultimate part of the video. I just want to share with you exactly what's open, what's new and what's gone. If you're familiar with Pi, I'm sure you'll love this segment. If you have never been here before, then let it be a slice of what to expect if you come here. Oh, and they, they toast the buns too. Nice. With the mayo, right? With the butter and the mayo.
Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hi, I'm Paddy. Fine. Fine, nice to meet you. What's up, man? Good, man. Yeah. It was very quiet last night. I should have filmed Walking Street on Saturday because on Sunday last night, yeah, very quiet. On Saturday, it was rammed. Me and Zelda, we're just packing up and we're heading toward Payao and then we'll head towards Shanghai and then hopefully we'll try and cross the border into Laos. I think we've worked out a lot of the tweaks. Still a few things we could change, so I might look into that when we get into Shanghai. Just enjoying this Northern Thailand adventure again. I hope you are. I hope you enjoyed a little slice of pie and seeing how it's evolving and changing and it'll get back to its full strength very soon and it already looks like it's halfway there at least. Anyway, we're gonna hit the road and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.